same, like it stems from Moses Mlelekwa's uh, song, the late uh, Moses Mlelekwa. Dope, um, dope. Yeah, he has a song uh, titled uh, Because Dream. So mm. yeah, there was a period in my life where I was, like w- when I got introduced to his music and I just couldn't stop listening to all his music. It's amazing. And so came across this one song, Because Dream. Bruvs, queens, kings, and everybody around the world who loves me, because I don't, I don't be talking to people who don't love me. You know, I go where I'm loved. Um, this is Banzima Vuso on Edge Podcast, episode four. Man, we rolling, we rolling, and we here with Ntlandla from E Pupulgabigo. Very excited about this one. Um, I heard about them. I reached out to them via email because I wanted to actually collab with them via Cosmic Natives and stuff. But they were like, Nah. We got our own Freedom Day special at Mangrove. Who you talking about? <laughs> so shout out and Tlantla. Thank you so much for being here, brother. Thank you so much, man. Um, yeah, so like I have a couple of questions ready. So I wanted to know, um, I read about I Popol Gabigo and your name. You know what I mean? How you guys came up with it. Um, how it's, it's got that divine meaning. And also it's got the political Bigo reference. Why did you guys choose it to be that way? Name like it stems from um, Moses Mlelekwa's uh, song, the late uh, Moses Mlelekwa. Um, yeah, he has a song uh, titled uh, "Because Dream." So mm. yeah, there was a period in my life where I was like, w- when I got introduced to his music, and I just couldn't stop listening to all his music. It's amazing. And so came across this one song, um, "Because Dream." Mm. So yeah, for me, it was like. Um, because there are no lyrics, and so, like, where do you find Biko in the song, you know? Mm. Um, so, yeah, I just loved it also because at that time I uh, was reading, you know, um, I just started reading um, uh, Biko's uh, Write What I Like, you know, oh, and, yes. and other, like, black uh, scholars. So, oh, yeah. yeah, it's that moment in of um, being into uh, black conscious literature. Mm. Yeah, mm. so... And then obviously, then I have to decolonize it, interpret it. It's <laughs> Tosa, you know, uh, mm. to say, Ipupal Gabiko. That's amazing. Yeah. That's, that's magic right there, bro. Yeah. That's like magic. Because, like, for, for me, I just felt like as Umdu, um, who just got put on, because I listened to as a collective, um, Dinive from Indaba is, you oh, know. Yeah, yeah. So that was like 2021 or 2020. Yeah, it was released early last year, 2021. Okay, yeah. cool. So, like, let's back to Indaba is, ne? Mm. Um, I see that the, 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 the label that pushed that is kind of, like, not from South Africa, ne? Yeah. What, wh- why did you guys decide to link up with that kind of label? And mm. also, ni pinina as a pupole gabigo, you guys indie, mm. are you guys signed? Okay. Also, what's your vision, you know, um, mm. right now with, with mm. your music and just the collective? Yeah. So no, at this stage, um, we are not signed. Um, yeah, we are just hustling as pushella, mm-hmm. um, because it gets tricky with uh, with record labels. Mm. So unless it works for both parties, that's when we'd be into it. Yeah, mm. but then yeah, for now, um, we remain unsigned. And now, how Indaba is happened? It was uh, based on our relationship um, with Usiabongam Tembo, who's dope. a close brother dope, dope, of dope. ours. You see, yeah, uh, we started working together. 2018, but he had seen our staff, and obviously we knew him from the Brother Moves On. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, and so oh, yeah. he did introduce this idea, which I'm curating this uh, project with uh, Brownswood Recordings, mm, yes. and I'd love you guys to be part of it. And mm. then, yeah, that's how we. That's how I started our relationship with Brands who started. It happened uh, through Usia. Dope, dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, I know Usia. Um, he's married to uh, U Tanda, Tanda so yes. a lady <laughs> that I went to uh, boarding school oh, with, FBGHS, nice. Victoria Girls High School. Is this East no, no, Gramstown. 
but are you guys both from uh, uh, i know yena ngwa se mont but mna ngwa se qonya yes yes so so sati bana njalo but like the linking of usiya um tembu i also uh, knew of them um this is a though when okay. i was still doing e jam that session yeah. so i always wanted to book them you yeah. know but i yeah. didn't have the budget you know because <laughs> <laughs> i could see why hey, they got a vision they got yeah. the going international already yeah. and yeah. I, I, i was still a junior and guy yes but how can i really get this money yeah, well, sure. so shout out man for yeah. for those linkings and stuff yeah. so so class tete can go about so your indie show you did the brownswood recording mm. you linked up so now what's 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 the vision for a pupo what what are you guys doing for the next like let's say um three year plan like what's the plan okay so i think because we've been around for seven years this is our seventh year um and i feel we've fairly done um sufficient um mm. groundwork yeah, so we know mm. when we release this music it has years yeah. ready for it you know mm. so the plan now it is to record in studio we've already started uh, working on um, the ep mm. and some of the songs have been recorded con oh, um, studios yeah okay um, shameless plug <laughs> 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 yeah so oh, yeah. yeah um but yeah the, the 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 main plan is to drop that album and then in the next uh, three years i would say the plan is to tour we'd mm. love to explore our continent africa and mm. should there be opportunities in europe and the states um definitely in america i mean um we'd oh, yeah. be keen to go to america to go to asia you know That's so we sure. are ready for the world but then firstly we need to have this document That's you know so. being um yeah this product the album mm. and then uh there are other like projects we are into you know like the music will evolve in forms of like big band forms of like orchestra mm, mm. collaborations so it's really going to take a while before we go back again and start mm. afresh yeah oh, well. okay so yazi um you heard about the you know most like artists have always kind of had this thing where it's like this contract disputes and and things mm-hmm. of that nature mm-hmm. um there's this guy with who big zulu now mm-hmm. that's ma- been making the rounds how do you feel like tina as artists can actually really like you know remove ourselves from is stereotypes of oh my gosh these people are drug addicts these people don't mm-hmm. know what they're doing with mm-hmm. signing these contracts these people always die broke mm-hmm. how do you feel like right now we can actually as artists move in a way that's more much more empowered instead mm-hmm. of like being victims consistently mm-hmm. yeah well I feel like there've been a lot of examples that have been there to teach us not to do the same mistakes. Mm. But also the industry has changed because growing up uh we were only exposed to what the media showed us that is radio, TV. Mm. So if the um the media says the artist X mm. is bad, that's what we believe and they'll say that they'll get that power, you know. True. As Uzola would say. <coughs> so but now record labels no longer have that power mm, that mm. much of a power because you can record by yourselves you know so now that limits um mm. the um hold on these uh, masters you know um but now i think communication is needed between artists mm. like for example with the band i write all the music i arrange all the music Dope. and that removes that those complications mm. and so band members also have their own projects mm-hmm. whereby it is solely them who are writing it is solely oh. them who are so it makes it easier now go to have a confusion you only having one voice and mm-hmm. so now what creates the main problem is that you get into studio you're all excited mm-hmm. na recorder but then after when it comes to saying uh, who came up who came up with the lyrics who came up with this melody who came up with this harmony mm-hmm. then that's when the confusion comes and that's mm-hmm. how people get exploited yeah yep. so it the um, communication is needed before you even start recording exactly. to say who's the composer who's the arranger who's the producer mm. who's the lyricist once those things are resolved then there's no way that you be expect even with the record label like the conversation with someone else yesterday to say as an artist you should create the contract for the label mm. stating mm. your terms mm. because mm. what most record labels do they copy and paste and this is roman dutch law which is anti black you know yeah. in its in its in its in its, in its inception so Facts. that's wh- so now we need to come up with laws that are contracts that are just contracts that have ubuntu yep. so Hopefully. if you just gonna want to take that 
a template ya seka loga ni universal then it's always gonna be problematic. Mm. Okay, yeah. cool, man. Away, that's super insightful mm. and funde lkulu from from what you said. Mm. Um, let's talk about nje lighter stuff now, ba. What are you listening to? Like, what's on your playlist right now? Like, who who are the artists that you're like, ah, hey, <laughs> dope. <laughs> yo, like, give me, give me at least like three. Yo, man, like, yo, I, I never, I never. <laughs> you think never of, think of that. Cause just this morning I was listening to, uh, mm -hmm. blessed ambassadors of cars. Listening to some music that says Zayoni. <laughs> I was listening <laughs> to a <Amapostol>. So um. <laughs> There aren't really, I can't say like, you know, mm, there are mm. these artists that I, I, I focus on, but I do appreciate, yo, now it's not there. It's not there. It's all good. It's not there. It's because good. I so hardly, because like, it would be easier if I regularly listen to radio or mm. watch, but then I don't really like mm. having artists like, wow, except for people in the scene, you know, there's okay. this girl, Ukalo. Mm. She's dope. I'm loving her music. She has an EP out. Oh, where? Kalu has, like, yeah, we sh you should check out her I, stuff. Then you'll send me her stuff. Yeah, yeah. Kalu is, is brilliant. Uh, Umzulu Park as well. Okay. She's doing some uh, dope stuff. I uh, also mm. love uh, Umzulu Mecca. Oh, yes, yes, no, yes. Mandisa. She's, yeah, yeah, she's man. really brilliant. Lulamti. Lulamti ne. from Cape Town. I've heard of Ndulamti. Yes, I think I think that I'm libala. Yeah, Ndulamti is. Along along was say East Eastern Cape Ndulamti. I think. No, was say Kapa. I think was say Ngwapi. Was say Lower Owe. Philip. Yeah, some of those areas. But yeah, and Galu live in Lukam. Yeah, that's Blue Town, Blue Lukam. Some of them. Okay. Yeah, it's really dope, dope. He's actually gonna be coming uh this side of Jobek next month. Owe. That's an antenna one fit. Um um possible. Yo, yeah. <laughs> ne crush, ne, I have a crush on that woman. Yo, to like her song, her song "Slip Away." Um, yeah. Do you listen to her song because it's like a rendition, her rendition yeah. of oh, oh, that that song that's like um, Nick Holder, "Summer yeah. Days." Yeah, so she did uh, her rendition, and it's like spiritual and it's yeah. so dope. Bro. I only know two songs. Uh, well, how I got introduced to her music was probably like five, six years ago. Mm -hmm. Those covers were by there's some um, Fugees, there's Brenda Fassi. Yes, yeah, so. oh, too late for Mama. Yeah, 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 yeah those I know two those. famous songs. So. I think I, I reached them on, like, I think it was SoundCloud or some YouTube. I think they were there, like those okay. two covers. And then I reached out to her to say, like, can we do something? The poop, I have this song. Yay. And she was actually like, nah. It's oh. too political. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> she was like, "Hey, curve." Yeah, and I'm, and I'm not. This is the truth. If she 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 denies this, <laughs> I have it on record to say I asked that we work at this song called uh, uh, oh, "Queen hey. Sandra's Hymn," and I thought like impossible. I can kill this, and she was like, "Ah, it's too political." Uh, she's dope though. But, yeah, she's don't give up because I feel like your the linking of uh, Pupo and Mpo would be super dope. Yeah. Um, I would really like yeah. love to hear that. Yeah, she's know? a dope artist. She's a dope yeah. Yeah, man. Okay, let's talk about quality over quantity, ne? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm a musician myself, alternative R and B. So, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you know that cool. You release music that you know. Okay, the engineers are dope here. Mm -hmm. Everything sounds dope. Mm -hmm. But then sometimes you don't have those resources, but mm -hmm. you feel like the content mm -hmm. is king. You know. Mm -hmm. Also, then you feel like you're gonna supplement the other stuff in terms of like the visuals and mm. stuff do you feel like quality is always necessary for artists or do you feel like sometimes if you have a message mm. you should just share it even if you don't um, really pay attention too much on the quality i think we need to find a balance mm. a balance in that um mm. because like sometimes like i can make an example with hip-hop mm -mm. you find that the rapper is really dope but then if the producer Mm. is not proper and then the rapper they get compromised Facts. you know i believe like for the best rappers we have they had to be like a like a really good um producer because mm. the producer as well is part of that quality mm. you know you can't just say it's a backtrack then i'll mm. rap on anything because i'm good so they also are putting their soul in it and one example we have in this country is lali boy oh Listen yes Listen to lali boy and what uh, Uspook spoke about time is, Matam, yes, is yes. the stand in that project mm. you know and yep. if you had a different producer mm. who does not have that quality then an artist like Lali boy would be compromised Fact. so that balance is needed yet you find uh uh and like in contradiction tupac you mm. know mm -hmm. very uh intense uh mm. rapper you know his soul his spirit is in there but then some of the, those beats will work mm. you know? mm -hmm. but then what 
then matters there's the message, you know. But then mm. I feel the balance we need to strike because we can't forever like wait for mm. resources. Mm. Yeah. I think I think to also add on because Zulu make and I quality mm. is not as dope. Mm. But when you see it roll out yak in mm. terms of like the visuals where she's sipping wine, and yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, then you're like, okay, the the quality may not be dope, but in mm. terms of like the rhymes and the visuals sure, and everything, it's sure, supplement. So for sure. me, I think for me, I feel like a lot of people feel like quality is people take quality differently as well. Yeah, you know, yeah. Um, and also some people are much more about the lyrics mm. and and what the vision that the artist mm. has. You know, definitely, so, definitely. But but I feel you. I, f- yeah. I do feel like quality is quite yeah. important, but. Yeah, um, I don't think it's the make or break because people yeah. can really fall in love with your vision yeah. and, 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 and the overall message that you're sharing. I agree. If there's that conviction, people, they can tell, would no, wait. Mm. Because sometimes you just need to start. Oh, just yeah. take out Facts. that music video, even if you shoot on your phone, you know. Oh, yeah. Take out that song, even if it was recorded under True. harsh conditions, you know. Mm. Like, for example, like a reason why, like you take corner, the mm. song that you dropped, mm-hmm. you know. Those went. I <laughs> that's like a gem the right one. there, that's dog. The that's a gem. Mm. Yeah, like ideally we would have recorded in a different setup, you know, um, mm. without those pressures. But then we felt that there's a need, and this message is strong enough mm. to, you know, to, to 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 come across to the to the to the audience. So. Uh, if we're waiting for us to be comfortable, to yeah. have the budget and whatever, it was never going <laughs> to we'll wait happen. forever, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, man, shout out. So let's talk about your mental health. Ne? Mm-hmm. Um, there's been a lot of, um, as you can see, creatives <laughs> who have passed away. I know um, I had a, a friend who passed away, Upalesa. Mm. Mm. Um, Sibia who passed away early this year mm. and then there was Ricky and then mm. uh, I also mentioned in the previous part that mm. uh, there's a, a creative who passed away in Aguamai Mai in, in Maboneng. Mm. There's a lot of people who are just taking their lives these days um, mm. and they're young and I think Upale um, Sayena she was carrying the she was carrying the torch when the whole NAC March thing was happening yeah, last I year, and I think mm. yeah, so. So it's it's super depressing um, to just hear of people like her who just feel hopeless. Um, so when I, when you hear these news, how do you take care of your mental health and ensure that you ground yourself? Ube grand when yeah. It's prayer, man. It's prayer. It's mm. prayer. Nothing else. It's prayer. Tanda zegumtali. And ask for strength from your ancestors because there are certain things that your ancestors, the ones who came before you, who did there are things that they were supposed to do and they some mm. of them they couldn't do and you are here to carry on. So you need uh, their guidance and also the Almighty. This breath mm. that we have within us is from the Almighty. Right. So it is what I can say it's um it's prayer. But then in terms of what's been happening, I think it's not an artist problem, you know, and also a, a I'm an artist, but then I, d- I wouldn't, I'm black first before I am an artist, mm, mm, you know, mm, so mm, mm. to exist in this world as a black person, it's not easy, mm, you know, um, mm. to exist in this world as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a queer person, it's not easy, you know, to exist in this world as a, as a, as a, as a, as a black woman, it's not mm. easy. So I'm thinking before we even get to artists, just by being trapped in the skin, this life gets tough it's and th- this life gets um, uh depressing you know mm. yeah so um yeah for me it has been prayer for me it has been yeah it's been prayer and also just taking it one step at a time mm. and socializing as well you know yeah. it really it really helps mm. and i think most some people like how they would deal with it various people deal with uh, the different ways in which um blacks deal with uh, depression mm. you know others they go to um these uh in mental health uh, hospitals mm. like Abu Ageso, you know, and others go to taverns, you know, hey, others go to uh, my, my others when go to church. So people <laughs> deal with these things differently. Yeah. yeah but hence, yeah. we should never judge. For sure. Why do people drink? Why do people uh, do these things of mm. prostitution? Whatever it might be. Effects, you know, man. Life the is just mechanisms. tough for everyone. Yeah, there are various coping mechanisms. And others go to a pushiri, hey, you know, fits. because hey. that moment is like for you <laughs> to to escape. It's a, we are all yeah. trying to escape, you know. Mm, others mm. escape through religion. Others escape through groove. 
others go to hospitals and others unfortunately they, they decide to just say like you know what yeah this Let has to go. stop yeah oh, well, man, thank you so much uh, and Landa for being here uh, you, shout out dude all the best with, yeah. with your music i feel yeah. like you're just gonna keep soaring and yeah. uh you know having you here is a blessing yeah. and i can't wait to see what you guys have in store for us yeah. um so yeah man i think one last thing i want to say yeah. what kind of last words do you have for for artists and how they can leverage on collaborations and the small resources that they have in jay um I can say uh, just start, just start. Um, if you have the vision, just start. Don't wait for funding because in these days we are trapped in wanting funding. Where's the funding? The government mm. is failing us, NAC is failing us. But then we can't. We started a festival back in 2019, uh, Kamata, you know, and gradually it is growing. The funding is like for Mana Pambi, um, Facts, just man. that. And then in terms of collaborations, it's 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 good because through collaborating you get exposed to a different audience, but at the same time, I personally believe uh, collaborations should be organic. You mm, know, let's mm. just first break bread, you know, mm. drink from the same cup, and then once we get into studio or like go to a gig together, to a gig together, it will show. Mm, you know that mm. connection. It is much deeper. Yeah. Big facts, man. Shout yeah, out, dude. Thank you so much. Yeah, bon amina. Oh, so <laughs> shout out, dude. So that was on Edge podcast featuring uh, Untlandla from Impupul Gabiko. I'm very honored to actually have him here and just talk. Um, this conversation really like uh, woke my heart up and really I, I saw in terms of like the depth of, you know, what we can do as creatives, as people, as Abandabam Nyama first, we need to really pray. We need to talk to, you know, Abandu Bay to fe to like go back, um, you know, do what you got to do, you know, whatever you got to do so that, you know, you don't um, end up in a place that's hopeless. So yeah. that was On Edge Pod, um, episode four. I'm out. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> wait.